Hi everybody, Robert here with BRPAutodesigns.com. Today I'm going to be working on a new project. Now, a lot of us are at home and we're not out working because of this coronavirus and all these issues that we're having. Um, and so you're probably going nuts trying to figure out what to do. And this is one of my things that I've been wanting to do for a while now. It's a little project. It's a uh, puddle lights uh, by accessory, advanced accessory concepts out in California. Now they make these puddle lights. This product is made here hundred percent in the U S um, we sell them on our website, so you can go on there and order them. But more or less, what it is is uh, real simple. So puddle lights. So when you uh, unlock your doors in your Jeep or any other vehicle, the light on the on the ground lights up, and it gives you uh, lighting or it lights up your floor, so you know where you're stepping when you're getting into your vehicle. Um, this is going to go wired directly to your indoor lights or your lights inside. Um, and so when you hit your remote, uh, if the inside lights up, the outside will as well. Um, so this is real cool. I'm going to pull this out and kind of show you guys what it is. Um, like I said, I've been wanting to do this project for a while now and I've been really busy. So perfect time for me to do this now. So um, I'm going to show you what's in the box and more or less, uh, you know, what it looks like and how to install it. Okay, so we're going to open this up, show you guys what's actually in the box. Now, just like anything else, you're going to get your uh, packing slip, which is here with the items that are in the box. Now, um, this is what you're gonna get if you have the four door, or if you're applying this to a four door vehicle. Um, what it means is this is actually an extra set of two lights with the brackets and everything for the uh, four door. This comes with two lights. So if you have a two door vehicle, uh, whether it be a JK or JL uh, two door, uh, this is all that will be in the box, is this smaller box. Now, when we open this, Pull this up. This is what's in the kit. Now I'm going to pull everything out. This here comes with a remote and the brackets along with your instructions on where to place the lights if it's a two door you're only going to use one if you have the four door you're going to put them in each under each door like i said this is for a two door so this is this if you order the four door one it you will get this extra box which will have the other two lights along with a bracket and the wires that extend it, okay? Now, what's really nice about this kit is you can add more lights. You can uh, order the Y from us that will split these uh, lights. So you can add, if you wanna put lights in the front bumper, in the rear bumper, and the ones that go in the middle, you can actually, because they are rock lights, you can actually use them for when you're out on the trail this remote will actually operate them so even uh if you're out uh, when you're out with your vehicle um, and you want to actually see you just press this button on this remote and it'll activate all your lights even though your your doors aren't open etc etc so um right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, kind of just place this out for you and uh, kind of well let me open this up and actually show you what the lights look like And this is a universal kit, so you can install this on other vehicles. You're just going to tap into your uh, dome light inside. So this is actually what the light looks like. It's three LEDs, um, really long cord. You know, the rubber, uh, rubber pieces that go behind it. So you could uh, install them like that. So all of this comes in the kit. You will be able to get this kit, um, like I said, or be able to install this on just about any vehicle. Um, like I said, this was originally designed for the Jeep Wranglers, but you can install these on any vehicle out there if you want extra lighting when you open your doors or when you unlock your doors. Anyways, we're gonna proceed to the next step and go from there. Okay, so I've pulled everything out of the box, out of the wrappers, and set it aside here so you guys can actually see what comes in the kit. And you can see there's quite a bit that comes in the kit. You're going to see um, everything from the zip ties to the uh, the stuff we need 
to tap into the dome light, um, all the lights and all the accessories. So this will all be uh, in that box and that kit. Um, so real good, uh, like I said, real good quality products. We're gonna proceed to install them next. Okay, so you can see we've placed one already. We got one done. So what you need to do is find in your vehicle is these cutout notches as you can see this is on my gladiator and you got these uh, holes that are in the actual pickup truck and that's actually we got one there and you slide the bracket in there so here's how it's gonna work so you've got this bracket you got the back piece here as you can see it lines up there you see that little cutout notch there and then this is a bolt that goes through it okay and what you do is you're gonna sandwich it between there and tighten it as you squeeze it holds it down like that and now you've got your mounting bracket so we're gonna go ahead and um, and do that I'm gonna find this here as you can see we're gonna squeeze it in there and then start tightening and uh, just kind of go from there so now I just can tighten it Now I'll bolt that down. And you can proceed to mount the lights. One side, and put the other side in. Now get the washer and nut, and we'll tighten those, and we'll proceed to the other side. Okay, so now we've done the driver's side. Now we're going to jump over to the passenger side, and to give you guys a better close or a close-up view, that's what we're looking for right there. That's where we're gonna mount it. That's the front one there. And there should be one back here, as you can see. That's where we're gonna mount the brackets on the passenger side. Uh, both sides seem to have the same cutout hole. Um, so again, this is gonna be real simple. Uh, and then once we do that, we're just gonna tap uh, into the module and wire it up and that's gonna be it okay so we've got that one installed up there nice and tight and we've got that one real simple okay now we're just gonna put up the lights and we'll go to the next step okay so we've got our module here we got to find a spot to put it install it I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it in here or under the Jeep itself, but we do have to figure out a way to wire these up. So this yellow one is gonna go in your interior of uh, our dome light. That's where this one has to go hooked up. And then you've got your ground and your positive, which is gonna be hooked up to your battery. So um, I'm gonna figure this out. You know, this is where all the lights go hooked up to. I'm gonna figure it out how we're gonna run it, I'm guessing. We're gonna run that through here. And then um, we've removed this uh, plastic panel that goes on the side here. And that just pops out. You can see it's got all these clips that just go on here. I'm gonna remove these two little uh, plastic uh, 
they're like rivets pop those out and then I'm thinking that yellow wire is gonna come through here gonna remove it come through here bring it down here and then tap under the uh, the light there that's the light switch there we're gonna tap into that that's where the yellow is gonna go hooked up and that should activate everything so I'm gonna run it through and go from there so our kit came with this uh, little wire and the reason they sent you one of these is they know that you're gonna have to run your wires through somewhere um, what I did find is once I remove those little clips just kind of loosen them out I'm able to run the wire through there and then gonna bring it in through here so I'm gonna use this um, to run through there and then uh, uh, tape the uh, wire to the end of this and pull it through so we're gonna proceed to that okay so we've taped it up we ran it through now we're just gonna go in and pull it through there it is i had lost it there for a minute pull that cable or that wire through real simple and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to prop this up pull it over and then run it through here i should pop this off pop it off there and we'll use that to tap in okay next step Okay, so we've got the module wired up to the power. You can see that's where we got the power, ran the fuse through there, and actually what's nice about this is uh, they put these ground spots on our um, Jeep, uh, the, G the JL and the, the, uh, the uh, Gladiator will have these nice ground spots so you don't have to fight to find a spot to ground it to. This one was actually by itself, so is this one. So I have those two options. So I just grounded it to here. And then uh, this yellow wire runs inside through here. We ran it through there. Okay, we ran it through there. We brought it through here. So you can see it comes through back there. Um, button those back up, push those in. And now um, we're just gonna go down here and tap in to that. And that will be the entire part of this whole assembly. I'm guessing it's probably going to be the, see, the yellow, but I have to test, uh, test it to see which one's actually positive and which one's ground. And then uh, I'll tap into that and that'll be pretty much done on this end. And then we'll just run the wires from the uh, rock lights all the way to the unit. So um, I'm going to get to tapping figure out which one it is and then I'll show you guys which one it is so you guys know on your end okay so what I did is I tapped into the yellow and it seems to be purple wire um, that goes connected to the light underneath the dash so the easiest way to do it is push the the uh, pin in and pull it out um, and then remove the screw that's underneath it. Um, it's a 932, this is what it is. Remove it so you can actually have access to the wire, otherwise you're in there fighting, trying to get in there in, in a tight space. So I um, also have the wire here. Um, I'm gonna cut it up, or cut the end off, and uh, feed it through. Get this here. And all of this will come included in the kit along with zip ties. I just like to do it a little bit longer and then fold it down like so. Nice and tight. Got it in. And now we're just going to try to get it in there. There we go. Now we're just going to connect this back in. Let me show you. Tight spaces, I tell you. You guys can see that. Okay. 
right there. And then we'll just button everything up, put this screw back where it goes, which is right in there. Sorry. Uh, put it back in there and uh, connect everything else. Okay, so we got it all hooked up now. We zip tied it out of the way. So now we're just going to put the panel, the side panel that goes here. I'm going to put that back, which is just going to be simple, just like the JK. Slides in first. And then you just kind of go through and clip these on. And you should should look like this. You shouldn't uh, be able to see any wires anymore. This is part of the piece that you remove to put your uh, take your doors off. So we will put this back. Sorry, it's uh, taking a little longer because I am trying to do this with one hand. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't uh, be so hard. I'm going to record and there we go. And it's back to normal. So all of this is done. Okay. Now I'm just gonna run, which are the connections to the actual rock lights, figure out a way to run them, where we're gonna run them. This is actually an extension, and I believe it's for the driver's side uh, rear because it's further away from the module, which is gonna be next to the battery, and just to make sure that it's long enough to reach. So this comes with this extra piece here. So I'm gonna continue and go from to the next step, pretty much. Okay, so now what I've done is I've ran all the wires and the ones from the other side, they meet up here and they go behind this body mount, tuck in under there, and then meet up up here behind the driver's side uh, inner front inner fender. And then we pulled them up right uh, by the battery and I'll show you where that comes out and then that's all done so all we have to do is connect them and we're all done okay so we've got everything here now we got the module as you can see here all we have to do is connect these these don't have to be in any particular order um, we've got everything ran back here that's where it came up and uh, we're just going to connect these now these have those little screw male and females you can see they're just going to go on we're going to twist them on and that'll be that um i am working one-handed so i'm gonna uh you know just uh, connect them and then show you what they look like and then we're just going to tuck this away okay so that's pretty much it we've got them all connected zip tied so we're all done. This is just a matter of turning it on and showing you guys how it works um, and then tucking this away and uh, just getting it all clean. Okay, so we're all done. As you can see, we went ahead and put the module in here. It's pretty tight. It's not going anywhere for now. Of course, that's not ideal for, uh, you know, the future. I'm going to either make a bracket or find a better spot to mount it it's uh the engine bay is kind of tight so have to find a good spot for it but for now that'll have to do either that or a bracket uh design a bracket for it um i am also going to put some of this wire uh, plastic wiring covering over it over this uh yellow wire so it's not you know you can't see it um just kind of ugly so those are things that i'm going to be doing here in the near future but for now this will have to do i am running out of daylight i started about uh four o'clock and now it's about 6 30 but it's taking me a lot a lot longer because i've been making this video so i would think this wouldn't take more than about an hour to install um what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you underneath how i ran the wires okay so now i'm underneath and so what i did was i ran 
the wires from the other side through this, I don't know, this bracing that goes underneath it. Um, I didn't want these wires exposed, so I ran them from that side. The two lights, uh, the wiring that, that goes for the uh, lights for the other side, ran them through here. Uh, that's the best spot to do them. And then these here, as you can see, I just kind of fed them through these little holes or these little square cutouts and run all the way through there. I'm gonna hit the remote and show you. Look at that. They light up. Okay, so we finished up the entire install and waited for the sun to go down, which is perfect. Now it's down or it's on its way down, so here it is. This is what it actually looks like. We have the driver's side door open uh, to illuminate the uh, ground. You guys can see it's a really nice feature. I really like it because when you're out on the trail, the last thing you want to do is step in a hole and spring your ankle or something like that. I know my wife really likes it. Uh, she likes to be able to uh, open the door and see where she's stepping, especially if she's in heels. So that's a really nice feature. Uh, we have this kit on our JK, our, our uh, JKU, our Wrangler, and uh, I'm like, you know what, we really need to install one in the Gladiator. Um, so this is a, the very first one that's got it, and uh, so I just went through and showed you guys how to do the install. It's a real simple install. You got a yellow for, you know, goes wired directly, taps into your dome light inside, and then you've got a red for power and a black for ground, and that's pretty much it. Um, just run the cables that connect to the uh, to the module and you're all set you know comes with a kit now this kit is your universal so it will fit just about any vehicle uh, but on some of the other vehicles you may have to do some light uh, drilling uh, to get into uh, a, to get the uh, brackets to work I'm not sure it depends on all the vehicles they're all different but I know for a fact that these will fit the JKUs the JKs the uh, JLs and the uh, Gladiator pickup trucks. So um, as far as without having to drill, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys like the kit. We do have, have it available on our website at brpautodesigns.com. I want to say the kit for the four-door or the Gladiator is going to be right around 130 bucks, and then the one for the two-door is right around between 80 and 90 bucks I want to say for the two-door so it's very inexpensive it's a really nice upgrade I know that you'll like it uh, once you install it like I said the biggest issue is opening your door not seeing where you're stepping so anyways uh, these are puddle lights is what we're calling them a uh, company that makes them is advanced accessory concepts out of California uh, this product is hundred percent made in America so anyways uh, that's pretty much it um, here let me use a key fob to activate them because everything just turned off because the door had been open for quite a while now so that is the kit alrighty have a good one bye bye